Nipsey Hussle was an entrepreneur, activist, and rapper from the United States. Over the course of his 14-year career, he established himself as one of the most influential figures in West Coast rap, receiving more and more acclaim with each mixtape release. As a result, his highly praised first album, Victory Lap, was released in 2018. His interests went beyond music, as seen by the opening of his marathon clothing shop in 2017, and his commitment to community action. His life was cruelly brought to an end at the age of 33, but his work and influence on the hip-hop scene and beyond are still remembered today. So, for today's video, let's dig down to the truth behind Nipsey Hussle's murder. But before we get into it, do me a favor and smash the like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button for notifications whenever a new video is published. What really happened to Nipsey Hussle? Last Sunday's assassination of Nipsey Hussle in his Los Angeles neighborhood was a devastating climax to an all-too-common narrative. Another bright, young black guy was ostensibly slain by another black man, according to authorities, leaving behind grieving families and communities that have become used to such an ordinary pain. It's painful to watch this depiction of black existence belittled, but in order to make sense of Hustle's killing, it's necessary to be honest about the vicious violence that afflicts far too many African-American communities, including the one Hustle was dedicated to reforming and rescuing. Conspiracy theories saturated the internet shortly after Hustle's death. In an Instagram post, comedian Nick Cannon appeared to hint at this, promising to continue Hustle's community activities. Because they can't murder us all, Cannon said in a long piece, spiritual warfare is a real thing and it's happening right now. Even Hustle's last tweet, having strong enemies is a blessing, evokes memories of Malcolm X's prediction of his own killing. Hustle promoted ownership and campaigned for financial stability in underserved black communities. He wanted to provide opportunities for young black people to improve their lives and transform their surroundings. Hustle, on the other hand, was not assassinated because he was a symbol of black emancipation. He was assassinated because, as the saying goes, not everyone in your circle is on your side. Because reality is considerably more difficult to embrace, conspiracy theories are quite simple to grasp for some. Hustle was shot and murdered in broad daylight outside his own clothes shop. According to the Los Angeles Police Department, Hustle was killed by a 29-year-old suspect named Eric Holder over a personal feud. Holder, who was apprehended following a two-day search, resorted to violence because he felt humiliated by Hustle, according to anonymous law enforcement officials. Hustle's death would be tragically routine if he hadn't been a well-known rapper, given the gloomy statistics on the spread of violence in the black community. Nipsey Hussle and alleged killer talked about snitching before shooting. According to the Associated Press, court transcripts released Thursday in Los Angeles reveal that Nipsey Hussle and the man accused of his murder discussed snitching soon before the rapper was murdered, a discussion prosecutors say was the purpose of the attack. Hussle's buddy, Herman Douglas, testified about a discussion he overheard between the rapper and Holder in the federal court transcripts, which give the first peek into the prosecutor's case against Eric R. Holder. Hussle allegedly told Holder that there were reports that he had been talking to authorities about the Roland 60s gang and that police paperwork or court records proved it, according to Douglas. Hustle told Douglas, you need to confront it, during a chat outside the Marathon, the rapper's South Los Angeles apparel shop, where he was shot minutes later. Douglas testified that he, Hustle and Holder were all formerly members of the gang, but he and Hustle, who was recognized at the BET Awards on Sunday, had not been engaged in any gang activities recently. Hustle was shot numerous times in the parking lot of Marathon Clothing in South Los Angeles on March the 31st at 3.25 p.m. and was declared dead at the hospital. Holder pled not guilty to murder and two counts of attempted murder in April, as well as a felony count of possession of a handgun. In May, he was charged with assault and assault with a handgun after a grand jury indictment was released. According to NBC Los Angeles, Holder and Hustle were formerly close friends. Holder and Hustle had a number of chats outside the business the day of the murder, according to police, before Holder returned and started firing. Prosecutors dragged out a considerable amount of testimony at the grand jury hearing, which painted Holder as a gang member, 
and said he had even been spotted carrying two pistols identical to those used in the killing, a silver revolver and a black semi-automatic. So, do you think the death of Nipsey Hussle was planned? What song by Nipsey Hussle is your favourite? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.